seen the exam, you might already know the concept of a subnet mask. But what about a wildcard mask? Do you understand how a wildcard mask works? If not, let's talk about it. So let's imagine that you walk into a dealership wanting to buy a car. Now with certain things about the car that you care about and certain things that you don't care about. Maybe you don't care about the paint color of the car, but you do care about features such as blind side detection. So the dealership needs a way of determining what's important and what's not important to meet your requirements. Now in computer networking, we use a similar concept. In our IP addresses, certain bits are network bits and certain bits are host bits. It's the network bits we care about and the host bits that we don't care about. How we determine which bits are which is by our subnet mask. Now we know that with a subnet mask, the bits will either be a one or a zero. A one means the bit is a network bit and zero means the bit is a host bit. Since it's the network bits that matter, the ones in our mask we care about and the zeros we don't care about. Now if you're not sure how a subnet mask works, be sure to check out my tutorial on IPv4 addressing. Now with the wildcard mask, it does the same thing as a subnet mask, except everything is the complete opposite. So we still have certain bits that matter and certain bits we don't care about. However, with a wildcard mask, it's the zeros we care about and the ones that we don't care about. So it's completely opposite from a subnet mask. So if you're comparing a wildcard mask to a subnet mask, let's assume we have an IP address of 192.168.12.1. By default, our subnet mask would be slash 24 or 255.255.255.0. And everywhere we see a 1 in our subnet mask, which is the first three octets, because we see 255 in those octets, we know that those bits matter. But we can also use a wildcard mask where everything is the complete opposite. If we use a wildcard mask instead, our mask would be 0.0.0.255. .0 and everywhere you see a zero in the wildcard mask, we know those bits matter. So we see zeros in the first three octets, so those are the bits that matter. The fourth octet has 255, which means those bits are ones, meaning those bits don't matter. Now you want to understand wildcard masks because certain technologies use them instead of subnet masks. These would include access control list or ACLs, OSPF, EIGRP for example. So if you understand the concept of a wildcard mask, then it will be easier to understand how to configure these technologies when you get to that point. Now what's cool is that every subnet mask has a wildcard mask. But let me ask you this question. If technologies like access control list use wildcard mask instead of subnet mask, how do you determine what wildcard mask to use? Well, it's real simple. What you do is take your subnet mask and subtract it from all 255. So 255.255.255.255. .255 so let's say I use the default mask for a class C, which is 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 if I want to determine what wildcard mask I use, I subtract my mask, which is 255, 255, 255.0 from the mask of all 255s. And when I do that, I get a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.255. And you can use this formula to convert any subnet mask into a wildcard mask. So here is an example of how you would match the subnet 10.0.0.8 in an access control list using a wildcard mask. You have your network number of 10.0.0.0, but instead of using the subnet mask of 255.0.0.0, you use a wildcard mask of 0.255.255.255. .255 .255. And it still means that the bits in the first octet matter. It's just now we're describing the bits that matter as zeros instead of ones. So here are some examples of subnet mask and their wildcard mask. Remember, it's really easy to convert a subnet mask into a wildcard mask. Just remember to subtract the subnet mask from all 255 and that will give you your wildcard mask. And that, my friends, will conclude this tutorial. Now what we discussed here were wildcard masks and how they operate. 
So a wild card mass, sometimes considered an inverted subnet mask, is just the complete opposite of a subnet mask. So with the wild card mask, the ones are what you don't care about, and the zeros are the bits you do care about. And if you want to convert a subnet mask into a wildcard mask, simply take the subnet mask and subtract it from all 255, and that will give you your wildcard mask.